From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Peter Turnquest, the deputy leader of the Free National Movement and the former deputy prime minister, will not receive his party's nomination for the next general election. The East Grand Bahama MP reveals this in a note over the weekend to constituents. It said, quote, By now you would have no doubt heard the report that I have been advised by the party leader that I will not receive the nomination for East Grand Bahama. I assume that council will give final confirmation or otherwise on the decision at its next sitting. The revelation Revelation comes a little over two months since Mr. Turnquest resigned as Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance after he was named in a Supreme Court lawsuit relating to an alleged $27 million fraud. He is not listed as a defendant in the matter, however, and has maintained his innocence. Mr. Turnquest declined to comment on the nomination issue yesterday, saying he will make a statement after final decisions have been made. FNM Chairman Carl Culmer also declined to comment, saying the matter had not yet come before the party's executive council. Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis initially said he does not discuss the party's business. However, last night, he issued a statement saying the party will have a mix of new entrants and incumbents in the next election. The rapid construction of unregulated structures and the layout of these homes in a new Abaco shantytown shows there is tremendous collusion in the community by influential persons, Works Minister Desmond Bannister has said. Noting the situation will not be an overnight fix, Mr. Bannister pledged to Abaconians that the government will take the necessary action to deal with unregulated developments on that island. Despite a government ban on the construction of any new buildings in the four major shanty towns on Abaco in 2019, unregulated homes continue to spring up on the island, where officials estimate more than 1,000 illegal structures have been built in one particular shanty town, the farm, since Hurricane Dorian hit. Aerial surveillance released by residents earlier this month showed new construction taking place, with buildings being built more strategically and sturdier than what was seen in the regular communities pre-Dorian. Branville McCartney, the former head of the Democratic National Alliance, said yesterday he is sitting out the next general election, putting to bed rumors he'll join the Free National Movement ticket. I'm sitting out this election. I'm just going to watch the players play, he told the Tribune. Mr. McCartney resigned as leader of the DNA after the 2017 general election. Despite shunning the spotlight in recent years, his stature in the Bahamian political landscape has prompted observers to speculate about his return to frontline politics. He revealed last year that he had been approached by officials in both the FNM and the Progressive Liberal Party. When asked if he favors either of the two major political parties in the next election, he offered none of the scathing criticism that characterized his days as DNA leader, simply suggesting instead that the FNM and the PLP lack fresh ideas. A man was shot dead in Harbor Island Friday night in an area that local MP Ricky Mackey says might be a drug-related incident. Mr. Mackey, who represents North Eleuthera, said he is hopeful the murder can be solved quickly and be put behind us for the good of the recovering island. Police said shortly after 10 p.m. they were told about a shooting that had occurred on Barrett Street. When they arrived on the scene, officers said they found a man lying on the ground outside a home. The man, suffering from what appeared to be gunshot wounds, was examined and later pronounced dead by a local doctor. Doctor. It's the 13th homicide this year, according to the Tribune's records. So far, no arrests have been made. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, lawyers for Donald Trump on Monday blasted the impeachment case against him as an act of political theater and accused House Democrats on the eve of the former president's trial of exploiting the chaos and trauma of last month's Capitol riot for their party's gain. Trump's legal brief is a wide-ranging attack on the House case, foreshadowing the claims his lawyers intend to present on the same Senate floor that was evaded by rioters on January 6th. The sharp-tongued tone with accusations that Democrats are making patently absurd arguments and trying to silence a political opponent makes clear that Trump's lawyers are preparing to challenge both the constitutionality of the trial and any suggestion that he was to blame for the insurrection. The head of the World Health Organization said today the emergence of new COVID-19 variants has raised concerns about whether or not existing vaccines will work, calling it concerning news that the vaccines developed so far may be less effective against the variant first detected in South Africa. Tedros Ghebreyesus said at a media briefing that South Africa's decision on Sunday to suspend its vaccination campaign using the AstraZeneca vaccine is a reminder that we need to do everything we can to reduce circulation of the virus with proven public health measures. 
The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. A weak frontal boundary across the extreme northwest Bahamas will gradually stall today before lifting northwards as a warm front through Tuesday. High pressure covers the remainder of the islands. Beachgoers should remain vigilant due to the slight risk of rip currents along east and southern coastal beaches. In the northwest Bahamas, it'll be variably cloudy and warm with a few isolated showers and thunderstorms, mainly across the extreme northern islands to partly sunny across the remainder of the northwest Bahamas today. Warm and humid conditions expected tonight. Gusty winds and higher seas can be expected in showers and thunderstorms. Winds east to southeast at 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 4 feet over the ocean. In the central and southeast Bahamas, it'll be partly sunny and warm with a slight chance of an isolated shower today, mainly fair and humid tonight. Winds east to southeast at 10 to 15 knots in the central Bahamas and 15 knots in the southeast Bahamas. Seas 2 to 4 feet over the ocean in the central Bahamas and 3 to 5 feet in the southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 85 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 73. The sun will set this afternoon at 558 and will rise tomorrow morning at 649. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper, now on the streets, or stay up to date online at tribune247.com.